Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Logan coming at you from Hunting Pros. And once again, tick and flea season's upon us. It gets worse and worse every year. So this video, I'm gonna tell you what I do to make sure my dogs stay protected. So in my home province in Nova Scotia, there's multiple different types of ticks, but most of what we see are the common dog tick, also known as the wood tick, or deer ticks or the black-legged tick. Now the black-legged tick is the one that carries Lyme disease that you've probably heard about. It's a very debilitating disease that can easily transfer to humans if bitten as well. So I don't want these little critters getting to my home, so I do three things to make sure that my dogs stay safe. So shortly after hunting season, I had my dogs out for a run in March, and I couldn't believe it. I got Twiggy home and she had over 10 ticks on her. I think it was 11 or 12. Um, some of them being black-legged ticks, which are definitely something I don't want in my home. So the first thing that I do to make sure my dogs stay safe in the woods is I give them an oral medicine called Provecto. It lasts for up to 12 weeks, which is awesome. It's just one tablet that they take, almost like a treat. And the ticks actually die once they bite the dog. So within hours after biting the dog, I've actually done this to Twiggy before, just pet her, and watched the dead ticks just fall off on the floor. Um, so it's a great medication for dogs to take. I'm not saying that this is a particular brand that you need. There's many different brands on the market. Um, Brevecto is the big name one that you hear of around here in Nova Scotia. Um, I'm not sure what's in your area. Some people also use, um, they use medication that you drop on the dog's coat. Um, I, I heard that works as well. Some people also have had great success with flea and tick collars. Um, but for me, this is what has proven to work over the past few years. So the second thing that I do is every year when my dogs go for their annual shots, they get the rabies, leptospirosis, all that stuff. I make sure they get their Lyme vaccine as well. Yes, there is a Lyme vaccine out there um, for dogs. And like I said, I get it once a year. I think it's only about 20 to $30 depending on your vet. Some vets have told me that there's not really a huge point to having it done if they're taking something like Provecto or another type of treatment option. Um, but I just get it done for peace of mind and uh, I've never had Lyme disease in any of my dogs yet. So the third thing that I do, Target would argue this is probably his favorite part of the day after a hunt, um, is I essentially take my dog, whether it's Twiggy or Target, and uh, I give them a massage. So when they get home, they come in the house, I sit them on the floor, and I gently go up and down on the fur, um, and I check for little lumps and bumps, which usually is ticks that are starting to embed themselves in the flesh. Um, so I do that. I've come to notice over years and years of doing this that ticks like little crevices on the dog, so underneath armpits, in the groin area. They also really like um, the point of first contact, so you'll, they'll get them like around their neck, behind their ears. So I do this for usually about 15 minutes, 20 minutes at most, depending on how many ticks I'm finding. Um, and I pull them off when I find them and destroy them. Um, I personally just use a pair of tweezers if, if they're really in there. A lot of the times they're still kind of crawling if it's shortly after a hunt. Um, there, I know some vets do carry tick tweezers, like tick removers, or like a little prong that will help twist the tick out. I personally don't use those, but each to their own. Um, they do work great. A lot of my friends use those. But that's the third method I use to make sure my dogs stay safe. <laughs> so to conclude my video, there's three things that I do to keep them safe. I, uh, first of all, I give them oral medication, Brevecto. Second of all, I give them Lyme vaccines once a year. And third of all, they get a nice scratch every time they come home from the woods. I've had no issues to date. Yes, I find a lot of ticks from scratching them and dead ones from the Brevecto, um, but it does work and it's never failed me yet. So to conclude, I'm gonna give my dog Brevecto. This is what it looks like inside of the box. And just a reminder that after you give it, or shortly before you give it, you should feed your dog. So Target's gonna have supper right after I'm done here. So you just pull back on the tab. Yeah, it smells good, doesn't it, buddy? It's like a little treat. And you just give it to him orally like that. Just like that. He's, he's safe for three months and uh, he's about to get his meal. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked, please like the video and also subscribe. Thanks.